Tade Noomson of Herb Restaurant is a Chicago chef who grew up in Thailand and is the Treasurer's Office Outstanding Service and Business Awardee. She worked in her grandmother's restaurant before immigrating to the United States more than 20 years ago. Noomson opened four restaurants before working in finance for seven years. In 2014, she returned to the culinary world and opened Herb, an upscale Thai restaurant in Chicago's Edgewater neighborhood, where she hopes to spark a healthy food revolution. So Patty, maybe you could start off by telling us something about yourself. How old were you when you moved from Thailand to the United States? And what brought you to Chicago? Yeah, I was, at that time I was 22 years old. And uh, the reason I came to Chicago because I want to, uh, you know, uh, to get higher ed education. So I already have my uh, bachelor degree in finance in Thailand. And then I came to Chicago to get my MBA uh, at North Park University um, almost like 26 years ago. <laughs> so you know how, how old I am. <laughs> yeah. Well, great. Well, my understanding is that before pursuing your passion in the restaurant business, you were a financial professional, as you said, to get your training in Thailand. Did you find that to be a difficult transition? Uh, actually, a little bit different, but it's not too difficult because, you know, to me, uh, working in finance, we help people to save money, make money and help people to really uh, educate them, you know, learn how to handle those money, how to make sure they can be able to have a financial freedom in the future. So uh, it basically this job like help people and to transition myself to the restaurant business uh, because I, while I'm doing the uh, study on my MBA, I also um, working at the restaurant, you know, back then. So uh, it's kind of like helping me to understand the restaurant business while I, you know, already have some experience in financial service. So it's all about helping people, you know, like I'm cooking good food, people eat, enjoy it. And it's help people to, you know, get healthier when we, we eat the right food. And same thing, help people to get healthier in, in terms of financial. So. <laughs> well, great. Well, that sounds like that wasn't that difficult to transition. Uh, however, I am sure working in the restaurant industry that the last year has been difficult. So maybe you could tell our listeners, uh, how has the challenging environment caused by the COVID pandemic impacted the culinary industry? Oh my God, I think uh, it's, it's really impacts a lot. And also not just only me, other restaurant owner or other different business, I, you know, right now we are facing challenge, uh, how we can be able to stay survive, you know, in this, you know, pandemic time. And also um, for me, I, I, I try like at the beginning, it was shocked because I never thought that this kind of thing happened. So we have to close for three months, the whole that restaurant. <laughs> and then I, I have to figure out, oh my God, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to be able to survive. And I just, you know, try the best I could, you know, uh, use all my saving that I have in the past to just, you know, have to pay all the bill that we have and, um, and keep going. Um, so just hope, you know, that everybody get help from the government, get help from any, uh, um, like a nonprofit organization or, you know, um, for state, city, um, county can be able to help those businesses get going in just, you know, like, I, I see a lot of business closed down because they, they, they just, it's kind of bad for them. But uh, for me, my determined, keep going. <laughs> I don't want to close. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great. It requires definitely quite determination, but also some ingenuity. Any changes you made to your business that uh, helped you get through? Oh, yes. Okay. So before we used to have just only dine, but we have to offer like carry out, like curbside pickup and also delivery, which is we have to learn how to make fine dining to do delivery, to make food look pretty. And also, um, you know, like make sure that the order come to customer and look good, you know, and beside that, you know, like, uh, because we have to follow the guideline of the CDC, you know, like social distance. And, you know, we have to wear the mask. We have to have all, you know, like a, a cleaning territory. So we do a lot like, you know, like a cleaning, you know, inside the restaurant. And um, 
it's, it's a lot of change that happened that we, we have to really adapt ourselves to make sure safety for our customer and, and safety for the staff also. But I'm still in a good spirit. And then thank you so much because sometimes, you know, in, in this pandemic last year, it's kind of feeling that up and down because we don't know what the future is going to happen. And uh, I just keep telling myself, like, you know, like, uh, keep going. I just pray. I can say that. I just pray. And uh, I just like um, reach out to uh, some people, our friends who are also in the restaurant industry that's, you know, holding there, you know, whole time. Because things will get better. It's not going to be like this forever. And I believe somehow the change has to be, you know, happen. And like I said, I mentioned to you earlier, I'm still in a financial service. I'm still help people to, you know, um, to help them, educate them, and then make sure, you know, they set the, the, the financial in the right way for the family and for the individual. So what I did, I found my passion. I think I think a lot of people don't know about, you know, other things. I do a lot of help people to get some grant. You know, I'm specialized to get like a different kind of grant uh, and also loan and money that they need help so they can stay in the business. So I did help uh, a lot of restaurant owner in uh, Chicago, New York, and Michigan to get the free money. So they're happy. Like, oh my God, thank you so much. Like, well, and it's well, awesome. thank, thank you for helping out your other your other restaurant owners out there. Yeah, yeah. I see. I should reach out and help them in different way too. And um, you know, like 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 I mentioned earlier, like because I love to cook. This is my passion is cooking. And I love to cook healthy food and what I want to educate people how to eat healthy and then just, you know, uh, happy and healthy. That's what my um, passion for. So well, when I cook healthy food, I make people happy. And then I have, I'm happy. That's my rewarding. But when you help people in terms of money, when they don't have money and we get the money for them, it's more rewarding. I can say that. <laughs> Well, speak, speaking of healthy, there's been a lot of focus the last year on people's health, uh, but I also know you're a big advocate for healthy eating. So any recommendations for our viewers about eating? I know I've been to your uh, restaurant before. I think you have options for vegan and vegetarian diners. Uh, any words of advice? Oh, my God. It's been a while. I still remember you came last time. I'm, oh, my God. But thank you so much. And then I still have your, your uh, picture of you. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I can keep an advice for right now because of pandemic and we stay home pretty much, you know, a lot of people, they're not really exercise like they used to. Eating healthy food and exercise is very important. And, you know, um, sometimes I, I, what, what I can say, you know, like people sometimes they just hurry up and eating whatever they have, but they don't realize that what we eat, what we put in our, our body and, you know, and if we conscious, more conscious in what we eat, I think, you know, at least we don't have to face the health, you know, challenge in the future. And, um, and what I can say, just conscious, you know, what we eating. <laughs> yeah. Well, Patty, any words of wisdom you want to share with individuals following in your footsteps, people who want to be agents of change? You know what? People have to ask themselves, like, uh, what the patient for, you know, like what, what, what kind of passion you have and what you're calling. When you know you're calling, you know that I, I believe that, you know, God really uh, creates us, you know, in this world for a reason. So we all have to have our uh, contribution to help, you know, society, to help other people do good thing to people is very important, you know, and I think some here, somehow we get some reward back. I didn't expect, I didn't even dream to tell you the truth that I get the award. I told my mom, my mom was really, I said, yeah, I just like, is it like my natural? I help a lot of people I'm in a financial service and sitting down helping them and in the restaurant and helping them, helping up uh, uh, some of my other friends to run the restaurant business. So it's just like they tie together, you know, financial, fooding that we have to eat every day. We have to deal, we cannot avoid it, do this, this thing. And to me, they're both important uh, uh, for uh, all of us. And um, what I what I want you know to uh, to say to everybody is, um, please stay strong, take good care of yourself in terms, you know, like you know, like a physically and also mentally, and also you know, financial help. 
that's very important too. <laughs> so well, yeah, that's I just like you know uh, want to give to everybody like um, ad not advice. Just I can say like just wanna want everybody to be happy and healthy. I can say that. <laughs> well, Patty, I think that's some great advice. Uh, take care of yourself, your physical and your mental health, and also give back to others, and it will come back to you. So, Patty, yes. thank you very much for your contributions to your community and to people not just state of Illinois, but uh, restaurant owners throughout the country. Really appreciate your service to our community and congratulations. Thank you. I'm going to keep doing good thing and do uh, reach out more, pe more people to help also. But thank you. This award really um, such an honor for me and my for myself and my family. I uh, it really inspired me to do more. What can I say? <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Michael.